Quite the floating city concept, quite fascinating, yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might sell to build a vacation home here. So this is Glitzville, hmm. Not a bad place, if a little on the tardy side. Perhaps I'll begin I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand. Daddy, I'm hungry and I want to eat a hot dog and I want to eat it right now. We're the World Wanderers. The Traveling Sisters, three, usually. But here in Glitzville? We're the Rough and Tumble Battling and Traveling Sisters, three. I think I might need to get the one of the later upgrades to get that, but nope, you can get it with coops now. Whoops. I mean I don't even think I need to do that right now, so that's funny. But can I get partners to stay in it? Probably not. A very good day to you, my very good man. You have no doubt noticed the Glitzville mini aroma as well. The finest of them is Mr. Hoggy's famous hot dogs. Only 10 coins a piece. Empty? Don't buy. Come again. I don't really have money. Not a whole lot, at least. Hello? No, we don't deliver. Huh? Who are you? Prank calls? Uncool. This fellow hangs out in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. You heard the blimp here, didn't you? Boy, I envy you. I'm dying to ride that thing, but air travel makes me yak. Is that another way of saying, like, throw up? Hi. Am I the 984,034th caller? Did I win the free tickets? He's been calling it over and over again. There you go. A lovely star piece. Give this another go. Let's head ourselves inside. Oh, this place is so cool. Hey, Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. That's right, um... I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Oof. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why do you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking. Wimpy, stay out of the ring. Or feel the burn, baby. 
tell you what. Do about a billion do about a million push ups and then comes the Uncle Rock off. I'll give you another world class spanking and send you crying home to mama again. Ooh, you champ. That was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You can you call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can make me sweat. You got a bone to pick. Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to the video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rockhawk is the champ. Uh, you see that, Mario? The thing on the shiny belt, is that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. That sparkle, that's a crystal star. Uh, but that doesn't make much sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? Some the, sometimes the best place to hide is right in public. And right in every or, uh... Right in plain sight. Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we can just steal that guy's belt. Or can we? What should we... What should be our move here? Here. Belt our way to the top. That's the ticket, Mario. Do this thing right. All you have to do is become the champion. You'll get that belt. Fair and square. So I guess we better get started. There must be a novice sign up somewhere. The time he's getting upset. Let's find this guy in charge before I lose my nerves. Oh, hello. Uh, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. That's Miss Mouse, the thief. She just... She jets off to exotic locales to hunt for rare badges. The fact that she's here means the Glitzbit must have something special. Sorry, did I just put in here doing a little primal skiing therapy here? Bruh. Waste him! Sorry, I'm not actually screaming. Hmm. Should he come up fighting or keep his guard up and see how it goes? Tough call. Trying to strategize for the fighters is the absolute best, because I don't get hurt. Yeah, ruin that loser. Don't you always forget about your troubles when you're watching a good fight? Yeah, totally. I hear you talking, man. Awesome. Move to one side, small fry. The only thing my camera shoots is famous athletes. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't see stories on... I don't do stories on nobody... A nobody, sorry. Move it or lose it. Be right in those woods. Hey, we're we're here because my son is a big fan of the former champ, Prince Mush. But it looks like he's not around in here anymore. We came all this way just to see him. Bit of a crying shame, really. He must have missed this guy. Where's Prince Mush? Good question. What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter? Mm, well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Gubba, the promoter. Mr. Gubba's office is just uh, down the hallway. Can't miss it. Head on through. But head straight to his office. This is a minor league locker room. Bob, sorry, you can't go in there. Wait. Oh, he's like sticking his chest out. I was like, what is that expression? That stance.
Okay, I definitely went by it. <laughs> Sorry, fighters only, but no one else had admitted. <laughs> this is the chance room. Only the champion may enter. Sorry, regulations. Got a hot dog. Who left it at the top of the <laughs> little st stairs there? What's that? You wanted to? You want to be a fighter, bub? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Mr. Gubba's just inside. <laughs> who in nation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. <laughs> yep, that's me, Grubba. And you—you're the one. You're the rude dude coming in, not without knocking. What now? An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Ooh, wee. That dude changed a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up and comer. Yeah, this is pl this place. Oh, uh, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and uh, raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I wanted to give you a shot. Now, uh, play me straight, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Darn Skippy. Alright, alright, son. I hear you. I hear where you're coming from. Loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't have a pokey's patoot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to the fame and riches. You know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. No, I can't mix it up. <laughs> no, I can't mix it up in the ring anymore. But I earned enough to set me for life. You're gonna be here, son. Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll make back all that, all the small dreamers that laugh. You read me here, son. That's the spirit chief. Here, let's have a little walk and talk. Come on now. Now, how do you like this, pard? Just fist your eyes. Go on, this is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe. You become a champ, son, and you get the keys to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply... <laughs> Look at that expression. Apply yourself. And a life of wealth and comfort awaits. I wonder if they did the fade of black there, but don't just have him walk, do another walk trip. Interesting. No, huh? No, uh, here we have the major league locker room. A lot of contenders here. What do you think, son? Huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Well, you care about the top fighters, not the bottom fighters. And I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but one world champion. Pull on your way to the top, ain't And taking the belt to become a champion ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Won't be worth it if there weren't no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it, too, Pard. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna feel, you're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. I never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, oh hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. Ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Jot your name here, okay? You signed the contract. 
Best thing you've ever done, son. Now, your Mario ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, part of it lacks a little punch as a fighter's aim, get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hoo-hoo, I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the great Gonzalez. Oh, ain't that a beaut? Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius, the name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the great Gonzalez. Make him, make me proud, son. Well, now that we got the business outside of the way. Julie, could you come in a minute, darling? Yes, sir, you wish to see me? Sure did, hon. Julian, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him on down to the minor league locker room already. Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide to some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubb says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as a per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubb releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. And then this place is a mess. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to the computer terminal here. Mr. Gravel will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up and walk up to the screen log on with the A. Then pick ranked match. Oh, it even has a sound. You didn't, you didn't know this, um, you didn't know this now, but your current rank is 20. The very lowest rank. I select ranked match. Well, howdy, Gonzos. Ready to get your first, your first, you know, your fist dirties, huh? Here you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be, they'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. Do you got any questions about detailed, uh... Do you got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Mr. Lane, okay, son? Oh, well, good luck, Bard. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, just wait till security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops to the opponent's HP to zero first wins. Simply winning is not enough when Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you lose the match or don't satisfy the condition, your rank will stay the same. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand it all? Yep. Okay, good. For now, just wait till, until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. <laughs> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security is here to escort you to the, to the stage. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. You have no idea who you're talking to. <laughs> 